Hey my friends, it has been a few days since we didn't play tactic. I play tactic actually, I did upload a video about tactics. And as you can see my rating dropped, let's do some good moves. Taking back good days. So I'm thinking about rook f4. The idea is to play... The idea is to play rook h4 at the end. Mm, but uh, the issue right away is it mm, gives a check with bishop. Gives a check with bishop, but it's not a problem. So I can push the pawn, takes, I go king g7. King g7, what can he do? I'm still saying that I'm mating you, my friend, at h4. I don't see any response to this. Yes, nice one. Nice one. Uh, uh, it is a little bit mis it was a little bit misleading because after you see this check, you may think that you move the king, but if you move the king, the black, white king can escape. So you shouldn't move the king away. To, it should secure the g6 square and help to mate. So this one is like, is like I can give a check from back rank with the queen. I can give a check from c7 with uh, c2 with the rook. And of course I should mate my opponent. Otherwise I will be doomed. Um, because in one move, um, uh, white can mate me. And even if it doesn't mate me in single move, it can mate me in two, three moves. So I, I have no way to, st uh, to stop it. I should mate it instead. So now let's calculate then. Queen g1 goes king h3, queen f1. Uh, so uh, what I'm doing right now is that I'm calculating all checks. All checks. Queen h1, it doesn't seem to be working solution, right? As queen f1, first queen g1, h3, queen f1. Uh, king g4 and what's next i have one check with the pawn to f5 there are two possibilities captures with bishop or captures with pawn or doesn't capture but uh, moves the king moves the king uh, actually doesn't capture with peace but uh, takes with king taking with the king seems to be bad hmm? because because then I can activate my queen maybe and deliver mate soon. Taking with the king. No, uh, I think this is this is too much calculation for no reason. Another thing I'm thinking is to check with the knight. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but check with the knight at f4. In this case, king doesn't have many places to go. And he has to take with the pawn. Takes with the f pawn. No, I can activate my rook and queens. So, if I say check with the rook, king goes down. And then I should repeat the position. If I say check with the queen, King has only one square to go, which is h3. h3, then I have my f1 stuff, and then goes h4, for example. Both h4 and g4 are available. If it goes h4, I have I have f2 check. My plan is that bring the rook to the open file to the g file and deliver mate with the help of rook and queen so i think this is a way to go let's do it first one is with queen check mm, yes if i check with the rook i have nothing right if i check i can check with the rook from g1 but i don't see any continuation check right and i cannot afford ghost king h3 and i cannot afford the next 
p6. So now I should take his king to the g file while my queen is in the second rank so that I can bring the rook on to g1 and help to mate the king of my opponent, the engine. So queen f1, king goes up, then queen comes to the second rank. King doesn't go up. So we can actually repeat the position maybe. Is this the solution? I'm afraid I can repeat the position. Because if king goes up, my rook can, uh, then I will give a second check and then bring the queen on to f2. I give a second check with the queen on f, uh, f2 or g2, depending where the king goes. Yeah. Sing, I have nothing but to repeat the position. Hmm? Let me check. Crazy looking move of queen e1. No. It goes back. In a worst case, it goes back and I have nothing special. And I think he can actually escape in this case. But even assuming he goes back, I have nothing special. Uh, yeah, let me repeat the position. I'm afraid losing the rating points. Oof. Oof. I could have played this faster, but I was really afraid of losing points. What's this? If I take the rook, takes my queen. If I take the rook with rook, takes my queen. But if I take the rook with pawn, he couldn't take my queen. Yeah, he couldn't take my queen, but he could give a check at f6. Check at f6. How dangerous is this check? I go to... Uh, first of all, is it possible to get perpetual check? Check f6, I go to g8. Then where is the next check? There is no lateral check. It should give a horizontal check. Uh, vertical check, sorry. At g6, for example. And I can slowly but surely escape to the... Escape to the f8 and then later e8 and then swing over to the... Now where my pieces are located so let's take it and yeah of course if i go to h7 is a draw so i don't want it to draw i go here and then i try to escape yeah good one yeah uh, it okay it wasn't good in a sense that it was a good puzzle it was good for us to gain some points Know what to do here. What is weak? Oh, we are in a very, we are in a defensive position more, so more or less because we are up a material, but uh, our opponent can take the edge pawn with the bishop and then with the rook, and it's very unpleasant position. Instead, I can take the, I can take the g pawn with the bishop. If it takes back, I take with the queen what's wrong with this aha uh -huh. the point lies here no if i take the rook takes my pawn and i think it's fine he takes my pawn yeah i understand that's uh, that's uh, looking very scary but is tolerable Let me take this rook. Oh, I shouldn't. I should have still thought about it. Oh, 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 oh. I was up a piece. I forgot. I forgot that. I was up a piece. I can just, uh, I could have offered this um, exchange of bishops. The problem with my position was that um, what I've seen was that, for example, what I've played was what? I took this. He was taking that and then 
it's very dangerous for me to take on here because after I take, I, I cannot go there because it's a mate. Oh no, or no, okay, not with the queen. First with the rook and then later queen joins to mate. And it's not possible to stop it. But I saw that I have too many pieces and I can uh, stop it. But apparently I wasn't able and then I forget that I'm up a piece already. So let's uh, offer exchange and exchange of pieces and exchange the attacker. It was very easy at the end. We missed it. I, uh, is this Arabian mate? It looks very much Arabian mate. I give a check with the rook or with the knight. Either of them. I will give a check with the rook. No, I will give a check with the knight. Okay, it's not so easy. I give a check with the knight first. Mm, because... No, uh, if I give a check with the knight first, he brings the king forward. So I should give a check with the rook first. And then check with the knight. If king goes up, I will mate it. So, and knight's in, and check and win the rook. Oh, good one, good one, good run. And not very successful, but good one. No, here I just want to tell you what happened here. And this position was basically mate, right? He had to stop the mate. I mean, if he was doing something nonsense, I don't know. Moving the rook, for example, this is a mate. Arabian mate and he had to stop the mate but then this was a, a killer um, blow because he has to move the king somewhere and then losing a complete rook i hope you enjoyed bye